It's nice to be here. Thank you guys so much. Good to be next to a fellow beauty queen. Oh. And uh, so my name is Caitlin. I was Miss New York 2011. Did anyone watch Miss America this year? Okay, so if you did, I was the one in the crazy tie-dye dress, and it made it to second runner-up. So New York represent. We made it all the way to third. But. Um, more important than that, the last year of my life has been working on my platform, which is anti-bullying. And I picked that for a couple of reasons. First of all, I grew up being bullied. It's, I wasn't a beauty queen when I was born. I wasn't toddlers and tiaras. I was a theater kid, and that made me an easy target. So I grew up facing that. More importantly, I had two siblings who had disabilities, and they were bullied for something that they didn't choose. They just were. And I knew that their disability was just a scratch on the surface of who they are, but for other people, it was all they could see. And so I decided to take up this fight. And I don't go around yelling at kids, being like, bullying's bad. They know. They live with it. So I go around, and what I teach them is that every single person can do something. It's not that one person has to change the world. It's that one person has to change their behavior. And there's one thing I've learned this year. There's no such thing as a bully. Now, I know that sounds odd, because you hear it all the time in the news. There's bullies in schools, bullies. But there's, bullying is not a person. Bullying, I've decided, is a behavior, and that makes it a choice. So what we have is kids making a lot of bad choices, and they need role models. They need people making good choices, positive choices. And the thing about Gay Pride Week is that we're here celebrating the fact that we're all people who can love, who do love, who share our talents, who share our thoughts, our minds, everything. We make positive choices every single day, and we all deserve to be treated like positive members of society, which we all are. So it's exciting for me to be part of this. And there's something else that I learned over my year, and particularly doing pageants. Two things, actually. First of all, people are like a light bright. You know that little toy, like the box? You put... OK, so people are like a light bright. Because I don't care if Miss South Carolina next to me has a $10,000 evening gown and mine costs $100 off the rack at Macy's, it's the light inside that makes you beautiful. So no one care what's on the front of your light bright. The one with the brightest light will shine. Cinderella is the girl who was Cinderella before you ever put her in the dress. So that's our job, is to grow our light. And whether you have money or not, whatever it may be, whatever you look like, you can change the outside. You can change the what. The who is constant. And the other thing I learned is that every... How many of you guys have done a puzzle with more than, like, 100 pieces in it? <laughs> okay, we have a couple smarty pants in the audience. All right. So every single person on Earth, I've decided, is a piece of a puzzle. We're a big seven billion person puzzle. Now imagine that. That's difficult. But every single one of us, somewhere in the world, is perfect. Perfect for someone, perfect for something, perfect for somewhere. There are people waiting to meet us somewhere where we complete the picture. And if we start to cut away at our puzzle piece because people tell us we're wrong, no matter what it is that they're telling us is wrong about us, if we change our shape, we leave a hole in the world. Instead, we all need to be smarter, and we need to look at someone who's a different shape, who no, comes nowhere near where our puzzle fits. Maybe they don't fit in this town, in this school, in this, in this city, in this country, wherever they fit. We all need to learn from each other's pieces. You gain a much broader perspective. So thank you all for being here and celebrating that with us, that we are all a unique piece. Thank you for all being part of the puzzle. And thank you all for supporting each other and supporting the fact that we're just trying to grow our lights. We can change the outside, the label. I'm a beauty queen. How many of you guys half expected me to be really vapid? <laughs> OK. So one guy's like, yep, me. <laughs> OK, so that is a stereotype. Let me tell you, I graduated college at 19. And I moved to New York on my own right after my 20th birthday. I was a smart kid, and I was afraid of the stigma that came with pageants. Stigmas are like people trying to put you in a box. But I don't care whether someone is the nerd, the jock, the bully, the beauty queen, whatever you are labeled, you can surprise people, just like I surprised you by having more than five words to share with these people. <laughs> so tonight is about never lowering ourselves to other people's expectations. It's about surprising them and opening their eyes to the potential within new things that they don't yet understand. So thank you all for playing your role in that, for being puzzle pieces, and please continue to grow your lights. And thank you to all the artists who are up here sharing your light and your gift with us, because as a performer myself, it means so much to see all the joy coming from stage. So thank you guys so much. Remember, make good choices. <laughs>